Hey, I'm Pastor Paul Anderson. I'm here at the Fountain. We've been so fortunate to have a facility that has multiple uses. And um, for the purpose of this uh, introduction in this video, it's now a gym. And so I'm going to try to do something I haven't done in years. Um, I sound a little bit winded because I had to practice before I did this so I wouldn't embarrass myself or hurt myself. But years ago, I used to be able to slam duck a basketball uh, when I was just a little bit over five feet. Let me see if I still have it. I've gained a few pounds since then, but I know one thing that's for sure the Bible is so true it says that I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength and that's what ministry is all about realizing that it's not really our own strength it's not really our own energy it's not our own efforts but it's the power of the Holy Spirit who gives us lift and so in the next few moments I'm gonna pray and ask the Holy Spirit to give me lift to give me elevation like never before let me see if I can duck this basketball be with me Lord I'm all the way up here. Can you believe it? I never would have thought I'd be looking at a rim eye to eye. It's been years since I've ever been this close to a rim. Uh, if you just saw the video a few moments ago, yeah, that was really me. I was really running and I was really jumping and you really saw me hanging from this rim. But the truth of the matter, I didn't do it by myself. And you know, it's amazing when we get to the goal, when we get to places of elevation, we have to remind ourselves we didn't get there by ourselves. I wanna say congratulations to us as a church. Can you believe it? In 90 days, we will be celebrating our seventh anniversary. It's all because God has given us all the help and the assistance that we need to do the work for him, the Holy Spirit, as well as our teamwork. You know, it's about basketball season time. It'll be coming up just in another month, right around the corner. We'll start seeing the NBA, we'll see college, our kids will be playing AAU ball, Well, all of us will be talking about basketball. And basketball is a sport that requires a team. I just want to say and take a moment to thank you all for being a wonderful team here at the Fountain. You've been able to help us to elevate higher than we possibly ever would have gone, thinking that we can do it with just a few, but we've been very inclusive. We have tried to include everybody in all that we're doing. We've done so much ministry over these past seven years, and the four years that we've been right here at 9621 Six Forks Road is nothing but a miracle from God. Remember when we were at Temple Beth Or, I did a video to talk about our key campaign, how God had put the key in our hand, and he was just waiting for us to turn the door to let it in. And that key was a master key. When we understand that Jesus is our master, and he is the key to all of life's challenges and all of life's opportunities, and when we learn to put it into the lock of people's hearts and open it up and let Jesus in, what a difference it'll make. I wanna encourage all of us, as we go into this season of getting ready to celebrate, as we get ready for elections, as we get ready for Thanksgiving, get ready ready for Christmas and getting ready for our seventh anniversary as a congregation. It seems like it was almost yesterday, December 6, 2009. We were at Temple Beth Or in the social hall. We had approximately 176 people that were with us in that first worship service. We're so grateful that God has been growing the ministry daily, weekly, and we're just so enthused with what God is doing. But guess what? There's even more work for us to do. And in order for us to get there, we need everybody on the team. The good part I love about teams is that whenever you have a team and everybody has qualified, that means everybody has exercised Size. We've done our stretches. We've asked God, what is my gift from ministry? What is my calling? You play on the team and God does something that is so powerful in the spirit and in the local congregation. He sends in substitutes. That means none of us are always on the floor at all times. It means all of us have opportunities to sit down and rest, to give someone else an opportunity, to teach somebody else, to mentor someone else. We're going to turn a whole new era here at the fountain. We're going to start our small groups like never before. We're going to have our Bible study time and I want you to help me. Let's give an assist to the person who's next to us. Let's make sure that they realize that we're all here together, we're all on the same team, and all of us will get the victory together. I need for us to play as one. We've been doing a wonderful job. Let's turn up the volume, let's do even more. The Bible tells us that the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Pray that the Lord of the harvest will send forth more laborers into the vineyard. I want to ask you to help me, to help each other. Let's go out and let's bring more people into the kingdom of God. You know, here at the Fountain, we say we believe this is the place where God's blessings never stop flowing. That means we have overflow. 
Let's give all of what God has given to us by way of ministry, by way of vision, by way of passion, by way of purpose, and let's share it with the world. And I encourage you and I invite you to be a partaker with me in doing that. You know, we're so close to the goal. All we have to do is just let the ball go. Today, I hope you will help me. Let's do it together. Let's make a score for God. Let's go for a three-pointer, but I tell you, three-pointers are great, but mm, the persistency of that might not be that good, nor the consistency of it. But there's nothing like a slam dunk. That's when you really throw the ball through the hoop, and that means you do it with force. The Bible says that God wants us to boldly go forth and do what he's called us to do. I don't know about you, but the only way I can get this high is for someone to help me. Now let's help each other. Let's lift each other up. Let's encourage each other because God has great work for us to do into the kingdom. I invite you to come on and help me as we help each other. Let's build the kingdom of God so God's blessings will forever flow, not only at the fountain, but also in the rest of the world.